Welcome to the Crazy Time Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite. Yes, sir. Let's crack into another one. Yes, yes, yes. TNT. Yo. Somebody once told me that yeah. the, guy, the guy from Smash Mouth died, and I'm sad. He did, He died. Uh, poof. He died a couple weeks ago. Um, were you a Smash Mouth fan? I don't think it was a couple weeks ago. It was. When this episode comes out, it will be. It'll be like a week. Mm, a couple. All right. Either sure. way, Jonas, does it really matter? Were you a Smash ma- Mouth does, fan? Wow. Does it matter if he died? It, no, yes, it, it matters. Of course right? that matters. But if, does, it, if, does it matter what happened? Do, do you remember do, the first you time a, you heard that song? Do I remember the first time <laughs> I heard that song? No. Why would I remember that? It's a good. Look, I'll tell you like this. The song was catchy. It was popular in a, in a moment in time where music was meant a lot more to me. So yeah, I remember the song. I know parts of the song. I could probably do it at karaoke pretty well. Um, <laughs> do you remember that guy on YouTube who would sing that song over top of like every other song because it has the right beat? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I can't remember what that guy's name was. I don't remember, that yeah. guy was good. Yeah, and some of the, man, there were some good YouTubers back then. There were some good YouTubers back when it was free. Yeah. So yeah, rest about rest in peace to uh, the, the lead singer Smash Mouth. I don't remember his name. Jones with Daniel Masterson. No. no. That's the other- <laughs> oh no. No, that's no. No, Steve Steve Hartwell. Steve Harwell. 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 Wow. Jesus. Uh, talk to brought up the <laughs> what a person to get mixed up with. <laughs> Shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> so wait a minute, Jones. Look. I, I don't want to uh, uh, completely just like raw dog into into that guy because I did bring him up, man. I kind of feel like we we should talk about that, but uh, actually, hold on. I got a. I think I just got a message. It says it's uh. It says it's to you actually. Hold on. Let me. You have one new message. Hey, this is Phil from the Small Wiener Club. Uh, sorry to get back to you so late. I just mm. finished reviewing your application and information you sent in. Uh, but I am sorry to say that I don't think I can allow you to join our group. From what I'm looking at, your wiener is massive. Mm. I mean, the sheer girth and juiciness alone is ridiculous. Oh, the juiciness. Uh, yeah. It looks as if somebody glued a forearm to the bottom of your torso. You could probably <laughs> stand on it like a tripod. Uh, and that's not even mentioning how fat your nuts are. Uh, Jesus Christ. It does appear that you're going to have to take that ginormous shmeat. Uh, somewhere else, but thank you for trying. Mm. You know, Jones, looks like you got turned down. Always the bridesmaid. You got turned bride. down. You got turned down. Sorry. I'm, always, what... I'm always the bridesmaid. <laughs> <laughs> but you can maybe the large wiener club will take you. Uh, wow. Maybe I shouldn't go into that off of that. No, Probably not. It. No, I mean, I was, so I mean that was going to be a whole other episode. Let's let's, 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 in bad taste, Joe. This is being well, bad yeah, taste. sure. Fine. Now, now you got to so, figure out shit to talk about right. for the next two episodes. We're fine. F is segue. We're going into a Daniel Masterson uh, dude from Hyde. Clyde Hyde from that. I think it was Hyde. Show? Yeah, he was the quote unquote cool guy. And you want to know the most effed up part is I really liked him in that show. I did. I mean, that was before he raped people. Yeah, so he got sentenced to 30 years for... Uh, to life. To, oh yeah, 30 years to life for two uh, rape counts um, that happened at a Scientology facility. Yeah, he's part of the Tom Cruise Club. So there was also a statement of those girls going through a training session after it happened where they were told that they were not raped. And I can't remember the exact terminology. Yeah, I can't remember the exact terminology, but essentially they tried to get them to believe that what they did was for the greater good and that they should not go to the authorities to uh, accuse a high ranking member of the Church of Oh, Scientology. he's got a, fate, a high fate account. He's got a high fate in level, yeah. high Higher than, you know, most. I mean, he wasn't like... He hasn't done anything super prominent in a couple years, but he still probably made enough donations where he had a certain level of uh, oh, did wiggle Did you find room. out what your fate and count is? Did you ever do that? I never did find my fate <laughs> count out. I don't even know where the Church of Scientology is in, uh, in Austin, but I would imagine there probably is one here. It means the 10th biggest city in the country. I'm sure there's one here. Exactly. I'm sure there is one here. Uh, I would like to, but I'm broke, so they don't want me. You know? Oh, you got to give them money? 
I'm, Fate and count is equivalent to money. So to you have to go through consultation. You come on, man. You've seen the South Park episodes. I have not. You've seen everybody has seen the South Park. I have episode. no idea what you're talking about. There's a South Park episode where they go deep into the history and practices of Scientology. Oh, that's where I first got my interest in it. I will not even lie. It was from South Park. And when you in the in the episode. All of the stuff is actually documented. Their their belief structure and uh, like uh, their practices. So you have to do consultations, and then once you uh, do enough comp consultations or accumulated enough funds given to them, because each consultation costs money, then you get to get your Thetan level read. Oh, and it kind of just depends after that. I'm not sure if so it's like a it's like it's like here buy these knives and sell them to your friends. Yeah, I mean, they consider it more like by this therapy session, by this uh, motivational session, and then, oh, okay, we think that you are a right fit for us, why don't we test your Thetan level? Oh, wow. What makes you a right fit? Well... I mean, look, we need Money. donations. We need donations like anybody else. So if you make it to a certain donation level, I mean, you know, but Donate, that doesn't donation be fating. <laughs> Either way, many, many, many crimes and atrocities have been held by this or Church of Scientology. Um, there's been a lot of people who have been sounding off about perhaps uh, not designating it as a church any longer because that. <laughs> Uh, what they don't have to pay taxes if you're a church. Uh -oh, technically, that's the business we should get into. The church yeah. of the crazy town media. So, so what makes a thing a church versus what makes a thing a cult? I heard somebody isn't sell that, me. Isn't that the the, te the the oldest time story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a person once told me is that a cult or a religion is just a cult that a lot of people believe believe in. Or a cult that's picked up by a lot of people, and a cult is just a religion that not a lot of people believe in. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Because yeah, if like those people in Waco that were in the cult, there was like thirty thousand of them. Yeah, that was was that a religion? If there was thirty thousand of them, it would have been. Yeah, that's a lot, right? Yeah, but there was only like what a couple hundred, which is still a lot. Yeah, and I I have to say is that there are a lot of people that believe in Scientology. So is it a cult or is it a religion? I think it is a religion. I think it counts. Meets yeah. all the qualifications. So they but they were gaslighting women to say that they were not raped, they were like part of the church. Yeah, at least in this case. Now there has been other cases of some of the mistreatment. <laughs> uh Leah Remini. Uh, I remember her. Yeah, yeah. She uh she was uh actually like raised, I guess, in, in that uh with like Scientologist she did parents. She like a whole show about it. She did do a whole Why show she about dead? it. Uh I don't know. Honestly, there's a lot of like like stigma around Church of Scientology. Like if you speak up against them that you're gonna get uh you're gonna get executed. <laughs> and and I'm not gonna lie, they do have enough money where I'm not gonna like go on a like a, a march against the Church of Scientology because I feel like that would make you a target. They're not concerned about us talking on this podcast, but I don't yeah, know we're not if they're really talking ish, though. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think Leah Remini has enough money where she's probably, you know, she can protect herself. I'm sure she I mean, has bodyguards and Putin stuff. Putin doesn't care about that. What's that? Putin doesn't care about that. I don't what, know what Putin has to do with the Church of Scientology, but maybe you can make that correlation. Have go go at it. If if you cross Putin, you end okay. up dead, and yep. he doesn't care if you're like known. Okay, and, and then so, where's so, that with the church? So why I don't they just have any problem killing somebody? Well, one of them is a dictator from another country, and one of them is a religious infrastructure that has been around for, I don't know, 40, 50 years. Okay, so they're not so the same thing. They're not even close. No, not even remotely. Nope. Interesting. One's a human and one is a organization. An organization. Who's the leader? Tom Cruise. LLC. Uh, who's the leader? Is Tom Cruise the Scientology that, leader? You know what, Jonas? Honestly, that's a valid point. I should maybe look into that. Who is the leader? Who is the main person that receives the biggest piece of the pie from what is collected from that church? Is it Elrond? 
L. Ron Hubbard has been dead for years. That's that's interesting that you should say that. At least, you know, allegedly. Is it Xenu? We don't know. It could be Xenu. Um, Who is Xenu? Xenu is the alien god that originally put the human souls inside the large volcano that, when it erupted, filled the bodies of the people and the inhabitants of the Earth, thus giving earth life and when Xenu returns he will take certain believers back with him to his spaceship and his uh island and his uh like revelation and his planet isn't that revelations wow jonas what's the difference between a cult and religion but don't they all have the same story and you, and does buddha come back and bring people does to a the, buddha come i don't and, know and bring people to the promised land or I something i don't know anything about buddha i don't either I will admit, Jonas, that when you think about it, uh, all religions have a certain degree of just like magic to them. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just magic. They all got some sleight of hand going yeah, on. Like, it's just magic. Whoa, magic. It did as it's Aesop fables, man. It's it's freaking it's it's schoolhouse rock. It's 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 brush your teeth and it's Sesame Street for adults. <laughs> Take your Say your prayers, take your vitamins. It is. It's adult goosebumps, man. It's like, yo, it's telling you basically don't do bad shit to people. The majority of religions are don't do bad shit to people, and here's why. This this sky hot take magic sky daddy doesn't want you to do it. Hot take. Yes. Are religions just there to prevent bad people from doing bad things? Duh. If you think about it, Jonas, <clears throat> I've had this I've said this a bunch of times on the podcast that laws are not for you. They're not for you. They're not for me because we don't break laws. I don't go to stores and steal. I don't shoot people. I don't go up and hit people. I don't break laws on a general basis on a, or on a daily basis or like in the last, I don't know, five, 10 years. I might press my luck with some stuff, but I don't break any laws. I'm not doing anything that's hurting anybody. So laws aren't for us. I feel that. In the fledgling state of civilization, religions were put in place and put in place as an ancillary to law. Oh yeah, something to believe in, <clears throat> something to hope for, yep. and something to keep you in line. So if you go back, as I mean, I guess you can go back as far as like the uh, the Bible. Yeah, or yeah, those like, times were hard, man. They didn't have a lot to believe exactly. in. Exactly. So how do you how do you teach people? who are stupid because the majority of people are stupid you teach them in a way they can understand you give them stories they're like worship god you'll get to this magical place exactly but if you do this you're not going to get to the magical place and you're like well i don't i want to i want to go to the magical place i don't want god to be mad at so me. be a good person because there was nothing holding people back i feel like back then there wasn't a police force there wasn't forensics so you could just kill a person walk away and be like and, oh and you would have a good chance of getting it you could just away. rob a person well, back and walk in like the away 60s and 70s crime was rampant because like well, how are they going to catch you unless they don't catch you red-handed so imagine what it was uh, even now we're like we further live in a surveillance back. state you can't even fart mm -hmm. in the wind without them coming and bringing your diaper back to you so it start. I feel like it started out with that. It started out with the king, yeah. the king and his guard. They held, they held ish together. And then you go into like, uh, you go into like Caesar, and then Aesop's fables. These are just things that are yeah. easily digestible by even the most simple mind, and give you hope one and fear of the other. Yeah, hope. So you either hope choose hope or fear. Which one are you going to take? You're going to yeah. take hope. Yeah, your so your situations are bad, but Sky Daddy's there for you. Yeah, for so sure. So it's Martin Day Magic, man. Nice. Well, yeah, I agree. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Blue with Chris for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.